What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today me and Connor are actually out on a pond bank fishing and we're going to be doing an LTV challenge. Uh, but before I even start this video, I'm going to start making a lot more pond videos just because I know you guys can relate to them and I know you guys like them. But if you guys want to see a lot more pond videos, please smash that like button and leave a comment below. I want to see you guys' feedback on these videos. And if you want to, do, want to see me do more challenges, LTB challenges, pond videos, definitely leave a like on this video. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell for post notifications. But we're going to go ahead and get this video started. Um, we're, going to pick, oh, we're going to both pick a bait. We're going to fish it for a little bit, um, see what we can do. and. Hopefully we can catch a fish on every single bait in this box. Let's go ahead and get this video started. Little combos I got going. These are just baits I've had on. Just had a little chug bug, a shaky head, a little duo spin. I might throw that duo spin around here in a little bit, but I'm gonna start off with the lucky tackle box baits and um, we're gonna tie this on. Get out here, and start fishing. Alright guys, before I even start this LTV challenge, I looked over, I was doing some B-roll. There's two bass sitting right here. Let's see if I can snag them. He broke me off. He broke me off. My line must have been frayed. There's one more. There's one more. I cannot believe he just broke me off. And I had him. First, first pitch in. There's another one sitting right here. Let's see if I can get him. I don't know where he went. One swam backwards. There, there's one right there. Well guys, to be honest, I'm really glad I didn't catch that fish because usually if I catch one on the first cast, it means it's gonna be really good or really bad. And sadly, he was about two pounds. I mean, I hooked him, he, my line must have been frayed and that's a big lesson, you know, to always retie and always, you know, but let's go ahead and get out there and catch some fish. I had to try one more time, I see one right here. Eat it. Let's just get the video started. <laughs> Alright guys, me and Connor are gonna start off with the hard baits first. So what we got in the box, we got that little worm, this crawl. We're gonna use those last because I'm pretty sure we can catch fish on those fairly quick. So we got this little uh monster bass it's kind of like a frog but it's a little fish a little bit bait fish so we got that we got a spinner bait which one do you want to throw, throw a spinner. you want to throw a spinner bait yeah well, we are going to get this started look what oh my gosh throw in there connor throw it throw in there behind my top water dude he just nailed it Yeah, I saw him. Oh! He came off. It's because they're not, I mean, this bait, I. I yeah. Mmm. That's, that's a tough one. Yeah. He was just so far out, so my, I mean, it's hard for me to get a good hook set. Guys, a little tip with these frogs and hollow body baits like this you know they're going to get a little bit of water in them um any one that you really buy is going to get some water in them just squeeze it out if you ever have a problem with you know walking it or you can kind of see it's going underwater make sure you grab it squeeze all the water out of it and i promise you to it'll run better again look at this fish right here look at him oh <laughs> oh my god dude i had a feeling one was gonna smack it right there no he just he was actually pretty good size too i threw up on that grass up there in the back and he came out and just hit it they're just not committing to it not a bad one let me see it that's pretty fish a little thick one spinner race done Keep casting a little bit and we'll both walk over and tie on this soft plastics. There you go, man. First, First fish on the spinner bait. Yeah. That one's done. Balling. Look at that fish swimming right there. See that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Dude, that one that hit me a minute ago is pretty good. Be challenged. 
Oh, there you go. The spinner bait's getting it done. Almost not bad at all. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's all the way up here too. All right, guys, I'm gonna put this down for a minute. I'll pick it up and throw it later. But me and Connor are about to tie on some of the soft plastics. I'm gonna tie on the worm. He's gonna to tie on the crawl. We're about to whack some fish. I already know what's about to happen. <laughs> We're gonna sit here and I'll lamb some without a doubt. We're gonna run it weightless. I'm gonna throw this worm. He's gonna throw that riot curl. And we're gonna go catch some fish. There he is. There we go. Worm's done. I'm gonna still keep throwing it though. Little tiny guy. Look how small he is. Bit my worm off. Only have a few of these, buddy. Little tiny guy. Cut him off this little piece of wood out here. Pretty fish, but look how small it is. <laughs> I'm gonna cast this duo spinner out for a second. First cast. Oh, it's a bluegill. Look at that. I decided to pick up this duo spin for for just a oh. minute. For <laughs> just a minute. Got this little bluegill. Yeah, just right. Little tiny brim. Let duo spin. Second cast, oh, it came off. Dude, the sad part is I only brought one. And I have a feeling they're just gonna slammer this thing. How sight fish that guy, man. Look at that, guys. Let's do spins. Getting it done, nothing big at all, but you know, it's a fish. I had tons of bites and it's a good finesse approach for these fish. Oh, he just nailed me. Oh, there he is. Oh, dang. Oh, he was a good one, dude. He was about, he was two and a half pounds. I didn't think he was that big. Dude, when he jumped up next to me, I realized how big he was. Uh uh, he was pretty good, man. Missing all the sun. Nah, I'm in it. <laughs> That's what I want to say. Oh my gosh, man. This bait is crazy, dude. Look at him coming. Not a bad one at all. It's one thing about this lake, they're all just, you know, really pretty. Guys, my trick to get these key bites of this duo spin is just keeping it, you know, most of the ponds that we fish have all this grass in it. And you really just got to keep this bait kind of out of that stuff and keep it at the top of the water column and make sure none of that stuff gets on there. Because this, there he is. Wow, not a bad one. Dude, it's crazy. But what I was saying, guys, uh, with all this grass, it's probably the best one yet. With all this grass, you got to keep this bait at the top of the water column and keep it out of it because this is one of those baits that doesn't have much movement at all. So if there's something, a little bit of something that gets on it, then it's just going to mess the bait up. So uh, that's, that's the thing. So you got to keep it out of that grass. If you get a good cast, it's almost every cast I'm getting a bite on this thing been absolutely amazing these fish are just tearing it up it's so subtle it's so it's one of those baits that you know it's a it's an action bait but at the same time it's not it's really slow and you can trigger those fish the bite but what a pretty bass
It's a bluegill. Oh my god, it's massive, dude. Look how big this bluegill is. Actually, he's not as big as I thought he was. Look at him trying to twitch, but he can't. <laughs> it's a tiny brim. Connor got my papa I threw off the other night. I literally was when I was night fishing and broke my line and chucked it out of here and we just saw it out there sitting out there. Good old river to see papa. There we go guys. Oh sight fish this guy. This is on the worm that came in the lucky tackle box. Strike king worm. Hyper guy. Little tiny one. The way I'm rigging this bait is just a simple, you know, Texas rig weightless. I'm just running it weightless. <coughs> um, right here. Simple as that. I was running this bait weightless and trying to get the most out of this one worm. I actually bit it off a little bit, made it a little bit shorter. But there it is right there. The way I'm actually throwing it, throw this bait out there. There's a lot of fish right here. That's why I threw it so short. I'll throw it out there, let it sink, and just let it sit for a minute. You know, this bait, I'm going to work really slow, especially these weightless ones. And sometimes before you even move it, they'll actually have it. And you need to, one thing, one key tip when you're throwing like a weightless bait like this, weightless Cinco Finesse Worm is watch your line because that could tell you if a fish grabs it or not see i could tell it's sinking right now i don't know if you guys can see that but sometimes you'll see something with your line where to start taking off or you'll see him kind of bang it or and like that he just had it it's actually right when i did that yeah he got it <laughs> tips and tricks right there guys tips and tricks pretty fish striking worm i actually did a video a while back where i was just hitting my rod just making the bait jump and i actually caught a lot of fish doing that maybe i should try that a few times let's put a new worm on but as i was saying just throw your like i said i mean that was that was something good to look back on and uh you know watch your line jump that's the biggest thing just watch your line jump and most likely a fish is on it but be slow when you're fishing these weightless worms in most conditions, you know, if I want to be fishing this, I mean, it's because these fish are a little slow or they're a little finicky and they're not really wanting to chase, chase bait too much. And as you can tell, I'm just watching my line. It's kind of going out right there, but I think it's just sinking. Yeah, it's just sinking. See my line right there? It's just sinking. And if I see something, something weird happen, if I see it kind of jump or anything, then that means there's a fish on it. Because I couldn't tell you guys how many times I've actually you know saw my line kind of jump and i'm not even really feeling anything i'm just sitting there you know watching my line and i'll hook set before i even feel the fish or feel anything tug on my pole you got it you guys i thought he was bigger than that but it's all pretty fish Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Yeah. Not bad. Here we go, guys. Look at that guy. His teeth are sharp. Pretty little fish. We're going to get a little thumbnail with this fish and release him. I'm not sure. Oh, he's got it. That's a better one. There you go, guys. Thought he was bigger than that, but it's all pretty fish. All right, guys, that's going to end off today. But, you know, I had a great time. Me and Connor came out here and, you know, put a hurting on some fish. You know, we caught a good, good amount of fish, and he caught some on that spinnerbait. I caught some on that worm, and... Um, that that topwater fish, you know, I got a lot of bites out of a couple hooks that were actually pretty decent. It's just 
didn't have them all the way and most of these fish in this pond are just you know smaller fish so what happens really there used to be a lot a lot a lot of big fish in this lake and what happens in these ponds is all these little fish get in here they start eating all the bait and all these big fish are just left off the dry and they end up dying so uh yeah that's what ended up happening it's just a lot of small fish but overall i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more pond fishing videos and ltb challenges be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you haven't subscribed be sure to subscribe and if you are subscribed or haven't subscribed be sure to hit the little bell next to the subscribe button which will send you push notifications every time i release a video and you guys know and also leave a comment below on what you guys think about the pond fishing videos but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one I think that 24 7 an understatement to my day to day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. They just say, I say it ain't no way. I ain't never listened, kept them at the distance. This is for the ones who ain't afraid. And this is more than some paper chase. I wonder who else can say the same. Never worry about what they attain. If I'm living, then I really can't complain. Can't contain who you really are. I know my true colors like the same.